Good afternoon. Welcome to Deep Thoughts While Driving. Me, myself, and I here as per norm. My neighbor doesn't know how to pull out the parking spot apparently. Ah, so, today, my wife and I are trying to get our son to do his homeschooling. He got a phone call from his teacher. Well, not his teacher, but one of the uh, support ladies at the school. Try and encourage him to, you know, do his best and all that. We got an email telling us that some kids in small groups may be allowed back to the school. Two hours a day, two days a week. The kids who need more help, um, have me more like more behavioral issues and may not be able to social distance and all that bunch whole bunch of um, prerequisites or qualifications whatever in order for the be the case and our attitude is yay um, we're trying to figure out they get this computer program called prodigy that the kids can use it helps them play games and a way for them to learn how to do math in a fun manner well I don't know the teacher was like gave all the kids new logins and so they're doing a certain level and anyhow it seems like they've given us the wrong level again because they went from doing adding subtracting and that to working on shapes and now that was yesterday and suddenly they're not doing shapes anymore like it was one day they're not and they're supposed to be on it for like 20 minutes well they're not doing shapes anymore now they're trying to figure out the volume of a cup and they're doing adding uh, well multiplying and dividing um, large numbers and all this other stuff it's like what the this doesn't make any sense they're, you know, like, he's in grade three. He's not supposed to be trying to figure out how to figure out the volume of a spoon. Or how to convert meters to centimeters. Or what was the one question? Um, oh. Girls watch, this one girl, Brittany or whatever, watches 40 minutes of TV at a time how many sessions does it take for her to be watching two hours worth of TV well now they gotta take two hours convert it into minutes and then subtract and it's like this is what they're supposed to learn in grade three are you sure you know what they're supposed to be doing because it sure seems to me like this isn't exactly grade 3 math. And like, my wife and I, neither one of us are teachers. We're doing the best we can. They had the one um, writing sheet. It's um, fill in the missing letters. So figuring out the difference between if it's supposed to be EA or EE, -E. like STEAM is S-T-E-A-M and JEEP is J-E-E-P so you know the difference between the EE -E and the EA knowing which letters you use for which word and I know there I know there's supposed to be a little trick to it as to know which one to use but I don't remember my wife doesn't remember I mean, like, we're not teachers, we don't know this. There should be a notes for the parents. You know, this is a, it's stay in your lane, lady. Let's look at the side swipe by lady turning into lane traffic. Like, there should be helpful hints and stuff in there for the parents to help us, you know, teach the kids. Because we're not teachers. We did not go to school to become teachers 
We went to school for other things. My wife for business administration and stuff like that, and I did it for, you know, carry. So, what the heck here? It's just, I know that, I know for my daughter who is 25, 26, her birthday's coming up in a couple days. Um, I know that from when she was his age that they're learning stuff sooner and faster than I did when I was their age in school. So I understand that. But they're really, I think, this homeschool thing needs to end because I don't know how far behind our kid's gonna get because we don't know how to teach him this stuff. And we're not even sure if he's supposed to be learning this stuff yet. And if he is, okay, fine, but give us some instruction on how to teach him so that he can learn. And I'm dyslexic. And I suspect my son is too. So some helpful hints on how to, as a dyslexic individual, how to help my son who could be dyslexic learn things better would be really, you know, beneficial for myself, but more importantly for my son's learning. When, when I was in grade two, um, when they were teaching reading and writing, I had a hell of a time. I, I, it was a nightmare. The summer between grade two and grade three, my sister sat down and basically taught me how to read and write. Because I couldn't. Not worth a damn at all. Um, so, in September, when I went into grade three, I was six months behind in the reading. The last six months of grade two. At the end of the first month, of grade three, the powers that be, the teacher, the counselor, the principal, and the, where, someone from the school district, and whoever, got together in a meeting with my mother, and all of them decided that it was in my best interest to put me back in grade two a second time. No acknowledgement of the fact that I learned six months worth of reading in one month and caught up that fast. If they'd given me another month, I would have been up to speed with everybody else. Everything would have been fine. But no. The powers that be in their infinite wisdom decided to put me back. So now, I'm a year older and a foot shorter than everybody else in my class. I'm the oddball that failed and got put back. You see where I'm going with this? I hated school. From that point on, I absolutely hated school. All my friends were a year ahead of me. You know, um, it pissed me off. It killed my self-esteem completely. It killed my faith in the school system completely. Why should I bother trying putting in the effort? I put in all this effort and my reward is getting thrown back at grade. And that was a huge deficit for me. I am 47 years old and I'm still fighting to get over that deficit and that attitude towards school. And I probably will till the day I die that I'm still fighting against it because of the way I was treated and the way it made me feel. Now, my son's in grade three for the first time. And my biggest fear is that he is where I was and they'll put him back because if they put him back and he's already struggling and fighting with school as it is having a hard time I'm afraid it's gonna do to him what it did to me and the rest of his life he is gonna fight everything he's got to get anywhere in life because of his attitude towards school. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm really not overly 
joyous about the situation. I would love to see the schools get opened again so my son can get the help he needs so we can get past this grade, get into the next grade and keep going. Because he's having a hard enough time as it is. He doesn't think it's schoolwork, he thinks it's homework. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's it, that's all. Take it easy, have a good one. Catch you later. Be good, be safe, stay home. Later.